Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be explaining a variety of things you might be doing that suggest that you've sort of given up on yourself or on your team in Valorant, which in return is holding you back from your full potential in competitive. And how this video is going to look is I'm going to give you an example of one of these things, and then I'm going to explain how you can correct it. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing is you calm for a few rounds before you start losing, but then after you lose a few rounds, you stop calming. So a lot of you guys, this is also extremely common, like I'm guilty of doing this. This is extremely common, but you really want to make sure that you're calming throughout a variety of games, right? Even ones that you're losing at the beginning. So what will happen is you might be calming for like the first rounds. You might be like, hey guys, let's go here. I'll use my ability here. I'll dash in here. And then we're going to take sight and plant for here. And then we're going to do this, right? So you're like really, really thorough in your comms. But then after you guys lose the first like two or three rounds, you kind of just don't say anything else at all, right? And if, if this is you and if you find yourself doing this sometimes, what I would recommend is instead of saying like all this stuff, let's just say you could just say like, let's split C. I'm going to dash on site, right? You don't have to say all this extra stuff. You might be, you know, you might be newer to calming. So you might feel like you have to say a lot. You really don't like even just saying like let's, let's split C. I'm gonna go here, right? I'm gonna dash in here, right? That's gonna be a lot for your team, and it's gonna make your team feel like you're you have some sort of coordination going. Um, and then also what that's gonna do is kind of keep your energy locked in, so that whenever you lose that round, you still feel like you have more comms you can give. It's like you're like oh you you guys this is okay, we got this, let's keep it going. Because remember guys, not every game is going to be a straight line to victory. Not every game is super easy to win. And if you want to really get good at this game, you need to use your comms throughout each game. Just keep that in mind. Are you sick and tired of losing game after game after really trying to win in Valorant Competitive, either because your teammates are just horrible, your aim is simply not there, or because you're just not sure what to do next in order to improve? Well, check out my Patreon link down in the description below in order to access my high quality affordable $5 Valorant courses, which include my Valorant Mentality course, my Valorant Aim Trainer course, and my Valorant Competitive Fundamentals course, where you'll learn everything necessary in order to succeed in Valorant Competitive. Autopilot and automatically play, uh, play each round, right? So this is also extremely common. I am guilty of this. So what this looks like is you're not really thinking. You might be tilted. You might uh, just be losing again. You might have lost a bunch of games in a row or you might just have lost a bunch of rounds in a row You might have toxic teammates But what this looks like is you're not really thinking about like all you're thinking about is like what's directly in front of you here You're you're not really think you're not you know, you're just automatically walking forward You're not considering like should I go back? Should I play with my team? Should I do this? Should I do that? You're just kind of automatically walking in so what you want to do is you really need to realize you're doing this in order to stop this, so you need to take a, a second and think and like, okay, what am I doing? Ask yourself, what are you doing? Ask yourself if what you're doing is a, a good play or if you're kind of just automatically doing it, right? And, you know, there's other things that might be related to this, like you're, you're tilted, so it's, it's gonna be hard when you're really angry to just be like, hmm, I wonder if I'm tilted right now. Maybe I should play a little slower, right? You don't wanna like um, frustrate yourself additionally, but my recommendation here would just be kind of play with your team and consider what the enemies have done in the past. So if you've already walked down here and you got peeked, you can just hold this for a minute. You can even spray like this. And you can ask your teammates to spray the doors if you know someone's playing close somewhere here. You can also just hold it with a couple teammates. You need some patience, right? You really need some patience if you're if you're finding yourself kind of just walking it down or running it down like this. Um, yeah, guys, I would just keep that in mind. So next tip is blaming teammates or getting excessively angry. So I did talk about the anger piece just a little bit, but... Blaming teammates is also extremely common, whether you do it in voice chat or in your own head. So it's, there's gonna, you're, you're gonna make mistakes, your teammates are gonna make mistakes. It's how you, how you react to those mistakes that both you make and your team makes that, that really counts. So like, if you really beat yourself up for, for something like, oh my God, I suck, right? Like that's, that's not gonna be great for your, for your continuing the game and performing. Additionally, if your teammates do like a really bad mistake, like sometimes your teammates are gonna make really, really bad blatant mistakes, it's okay to be like, oh my God, bro, but don't do that in the voice chat, right? Don't sit in the voice chat because that's gonna bring down the whole team morale and that's gonna make your teammate feel even worse. Trust me, they know that what they did was not good, most likely, unless you, get, unless you guys are in a very, very low rank, they know that they made a mistake, right? So don't, don't beat them down because that's just gonna, make your team want to give up even more, that's probably going to make you want to give up even more, and especially the person who made the mistake want to give up even more. So keep that in mind. Be like, I, what I always do in that situation is I'm like, hey guys, or I'm like, no, it's all good. It's all good, right? I just try to like kind of just chill everyone out. Like, it's all good. We got this. We got this, right? Especially if it's a close game, um, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, 
and getting excessively angry, right? So if you're getting excessively angry, there's a good chance you've played a lot of games today. If you haven't, then you might just want to take a little break from Valorant, because uh, I've been there as well. I get pretty angry at this game. But that's there's a, a good chance that after you get really, really angry that you're not going to be playing at your peak, which means you're, you know, you're kind of just trolling yourself a little bit, right? So keep that in mind, guys. Next tip is forcing every round. This is pretty blatant. Like, if you're, if you're really tilted, and especially, like, it doesn't really matter what role you are, but if you're just buying every round, like, this does happen in my rank sometimes. Like, I'll, I'm, I'm guilty of forcing, honestly. I'm guilty of buying light armor or no armor with, like, Reyna. But if you're just constantly just buying, like, it's, like, early in the half, and you're just buying, like, random stuff, <laughs> you, you, like, you don't even know what you're buying. You're just forcing for no reason. Um, and you know that this is not usually something you do, this is a good indication that you're you're sort of giving up, right? Like, you're not really playing to your full potential. Like, why are you buying the Stinger whenever your team's full saving? Because um, that's probably going to just lead to you dying, right? So think, just like, think what, what else should I be buying here? Maybe I could buy a Sheriff. Uh, maybe I could just save and play around my team this round if we can't really afford anything at all. Um, but that's just... That's just something I would also be looking out for. Make sure you guys are buying properly. It really does make a big, big difference, and it's something that's fundamental to the game. Next, guys, is frequently lurking or pushing and not playing with the team. So I kind of mentioned this already a little bit as well. But, you know, if you're lurking constantly, like we're lurking up, I don't know, we're lurking up A and our team's pushing C, and you, if you might be consciously doing this, or you might be unconsciously doing this, so you might be doing this on purpose just so that you can get an unfair fight against an enemy, or you might be uh, doing this on purpose just because you don't want to go in with your team for whatever reason, like you don't want entry. So this, these are both sort of bad. Like you don't always want to be lurking. It's like, you know, it's just like if you're playing a sport, you don't always want to make the same play over and over again. It becomes very predictable. You guys can imagine if you're playing against someone who lurks every single round, you're going to start to kind of like, there's going to be some alarm bells that go off. Like, okay, this guy's probably lurking still. Like after someone lurks two rounds in a row, I'm like, okay, this guy's always going to lurk, right? Because he's showing us that he does this frequently. Um, so if, if you do want to lurk, try to do it one a little more decisively. So like lurk up B or something or lurk up garage late just so that you're at least a little closer to your teammates who are pushing Here. C like this. And you can catch like a rotate who's coming Here. through like this. Um, or back here. Um, they shouldn't be in the corners if your teammates are already on C. And then this almost will always lead to a kill or two or more is, as long as you don't whiff. Uh, additionally, like I said, also, if you're pushing without, like, so this is also something, like, if you're, if you're just running down, if you're not even holding shift, and your team is not with you, and you haven't said anything to your team, this is a pretty good indication that you're doing something incorrectly, and that you're not performing to your peak, right? Because this game's not Call of Duty, right? You, you can't just run around and expect to win the game. Although that does actually work sometimes. That is kind of what competitive turns into sometimes. And just because people just turn it into an aim game. But this game at its peak, its peak performance is not all about aim. It's about aim. It's about coordination with teammates. It's about ability use. It's about timing. You know, it's about a lot of things. So you can't just be running around and expecting for the game to miraculously turn into your favor whenever you're a little tilted, right? So keep that in mind, guys. And if you have any questions about this video, let me know down in the comments below. And peace.